Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a swatch party video on some new products that I picked up that launch from NARS. So if you're interested in seeing swatches on my skin tone, just keep watching. Now if you are new to my channel, you do know I upload every other day, so you do get quite a bit of content from me and my goal is to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of 2017. So if you would like, you can definitely go ahead and subscribe so you can keep up with my future videos. But without further ado, let's swatch some new stuff from NARS. Now you guys, I was bound and determined not to pick up anything from the new NARS holiday collection, but I felt like this little highlighter, bronzer, and blush trio was just like calling my name. So I was like, hey, what the heck? I thought I'd try it out and see if I like it. So I thought it would be fun to swatch this in this video. Wow, this definitely feels drier than I thought. So here are the three shades swatched on my hand. And I honestly feel like that Makeup Forever palette I picked up during the VIB sale has a lot of dupes to these shades. But again, I just had such good luck with that other NARS highlighting palette. It's called the Board of Collage highlighting palette. I think I have it. In my highlighter drawer, I don't. It's in my other stuff. So anyway, I right away can see the bronzer is gonna be quite a bit light for me, but I did touch up my foundation. So I thought I would try and demo this on camera. Oh, you can see it, that's good. This is picking up nice and powdery. I wasn't sure if this was like a baked gelée formula. So yeah, usually when I go in with bronzer, I like to go on the parameters, the parameters of my face. And then of course you wanna hit like your contour slash cheek area and this side and then just blend, blend, blend. So yeah, it's hardly noticeable in the mirror on this palette, but I feel like I can see it in the viewfinder. So we're gonna go with that. I'm gonna use my favorite blush brush from Sonia Kashuk. I don't know if it's picking anything up, but we'll see. I just am really into like those hot corally blush shades right now, which is so strange because usually blush is like not something I gravitate towards. This one is really hard to pick up. Do you guys see anything yet? Okay, I can kind of see it or maybe it's just like the light is playing tricks on me. But it just gives like such a nice like flush of like you've been outside a little too long kind of look to your cheeks, which is nice. So let me... It's hard to pick it up with this brush, so I don't know if it's like my brush is the wrong kind of brush. I thought since these bristles were kind of, I don't know, not hard, but they kind of dig into the products, so I thought it would be easier for me to pick up the product, but you can kind of see a cute flush, so I like that. And then this highlighter shade really just made me feel some type of way, and I've really been loving my other NARS highlighting palette, so I was like, let me just see if this one will be just as good. I've had really bad luck with NARS palettes in the past, so I've really avoided them. But I feel like after the summer highlighting palette, my luck was really turned around. So now my faith is back in NARS, and I figured why not try some of their new launches for holiday and let you guys know what I think about them. I really wanted their new individual blushes, but those seem to be just like a NARS website exclusive. I couldn't find them during the Sephora sale, and I couldn't find them during the Ulta sale, so I just decided to go for the little palette. So I don't know if you guys can see the highlight. Looks pretty subtle, but I kind of like it. Uh, but there are the swatches of this palette, and this is called the Veil Cheek Palette, and this is from the NARS Man Ray collection that came out for holiday. And this has an 18 month shelf life, and it looks like um, there's quite a bit of product in here too, and I love the size. And of course, NARS always kills it with the packaging. Okay, so the next thing I wanna swatch is this new NARS eyeshadow palette. Now, I've never actually bought a NARS eyeshadow palette. The only one I bought was one time, and it was the Dual Intensity formula, so I didn't really like that. It was one of the very first reviews I filmed on my channel, and I can definitely link it up in the cards for you guys so you can get some throwback action. Um, and then I passed on like the orangey one that they came out with sometime this summer, but I figured, you know, it was time to get back on the horse. So I picked this one up, and this is called the NARS 
wanted eyeshadow palette and it is definitely those shades that are currently trending. The shimmer shades in this palette are very attractive, I must say. So I've been dying to dive into this palette, but I wanted to swatch it for you guys first. So I held on to it and it's untouched. So let's get into swatching this baby. Okay guys, so this palette is nice and weighted and I'm just gonna swatch from this way. We'll just go across. First one feels really soft. Let's see here. So I'm definitely swatching to see like, are these worth it? Are they pigmented? Like, I just haven't really had much, you know, playtime with the NARS eyeshadow formula. So here are the first four swatches. Now, the shimmer shade swatched really beautifully. The matte is pretty patchy on that darker shade, but I think it might work on the crease, so we have to keep an open mind. These are just finger swatches, guys, so I'm not telling you to go ahead and form an opinion just based off of my finger swatches. Sometimes I've worked with the formula multiple times, but this is my first time with NARS, so I'm really not sure what to say about it just yet. So if I'm reading this right, we have, I don't even know how to say this, Barrett's. Br Satisfaction, uh, Dilrium, and Temptress. I think I'm just going to put the names on the screen because God knows I'm going to probably butcher them. And then I'm going to swatch the next row. Ooh, the shimmer shade was calling my name. Okay, let's see here. So that one definitely felt like a pressed glitter right here. And then this is a more pearlescent shadow and then these two are matte shades and actually I'm not going to even bother trying to say the names so I will just pop the names on the screen for you guys but these are the next four shades and then I'm going to swatch the last row on this other hand and here are the swatches this shade was like calling my name it just felt so buttery and smooth so there are the swatches. Oh, so. Just like first impressions based on swatches, the glitter shades do feel pretty chunky. I feel like for, you know, perfect opacity, you're gonna wanna use a glitter glue on these, but I do need to test this formula out because like I said, I haven't really used a lot of NARS eyeshadows. I used to have one of their duos that I used to death, but that was a long, long time ago. So yeah, I'm so, so excited. I think the packaging is so amazing and unique. The only thing I do want to mention is NARS is not cruelty free anymore, or they used to be, but they're not anymore. So if that's something that's important to you, I just wanted to mention that. And this palette has a 24 month shelf life. Now this is in no way a review, so you guys are gonna definitely have to come back to see my final thoughts on this palette. But I do hope you found these swatches useful and entertaining. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and check out some other videos on my channel as well. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye!